Hey what's up people, it is brutally cold out here, but today we're going to do a quick first impression video on the Classic Army M4 pistol. So right off the bat, it's really ergonomic, small and compact. Compact? Compact? I don't know. One of the two, whatever. It's full metal, and it's really, really sturdy. There is no wobble whatsoever, which is very impressive. However, even though it's full metal, it's still pretty lightweight, because if it was heavy, that would kind of defeat the whole purpose of having something this small. So essentially, if this performs as well as it looks, and as well as the build feels, it's going to be a CQB monster, so I'm excited to see that. It also includes metal flip-up sights, which actually feel pretty solid, and a plastic vertical foregrip. However, we'll get into more of what it comes with in the actual review. One of the cons I see just looking at it is the fact that the battery space on this is right in here. It's so small, I really don't know what type of battery would fit in there. I tried all mine and none of them fit, and I do have quite a few batteries. That is a problem with, in general, with front wired guns, and it can easily be solved by running an external battery box or a mock PQ or something like that, so it's really not such a big deal. Also, while we're on the subject, my YouTube giveaway ends in less than a week, so I'm gonna put the link, it's gonna be the first link in the description. Be sure to enter that, I'm giving away like 40 stuff or something. There's a large chance of winning and it's free to enter, which is always awesome. Free to enter for free stuff. Go enter. Final waste of time before we go shoot this. I ghetto rig the battery, hardcore ghetto rig this. For your old subscribers, you know I do this way too often because I don't really have any small batteries for whatever stupid reason. So every time I review a front wired gun, this happens. So I should probably buy some smaller batteries. Also, since I haven't played in months, I can't find any of my goggles, so I'm going to wear these cyborg ones. So I'm going to be a cyborg for this video, I guess. How awesome don't they look? 11 lipo, would not recommend running that in this gun, probably I'll let you know for sure by the review. 2 OBBs, wouldn't recommend running those either, run at least 0.25s or higher. And I took off the amp just so you guys could hear how it sounds naturally, and what else? No adjusted motor height, no adjusted hop up, just right out of the box, going to shoot it like this. This thing is small enough to shoot one-handed, but it is metal, so while it's pretty light for metal, it's not that light. Let's go to shot, I guess. Flawless feeding, that's another solid. I like this. So for the sake of being absolutely useless, I threw in an unnecessarily large max suppressor, which weighs a ton, but at least it looks cool, I think. I also threw in some other attachments just to give you guys a basic idea of how it could look if you were to get one and deck it out yourself. By the way, this gun will run you about $250 depending on where you buy it from. I'll put some links down below. So to close up the first impression video of this gun, I really like it so far. It is surprisingly accurate for something with such a small barrel. It has a pretty good rate of fire with an 11.1. We'll see with the 7.4 in the actual review. And it fed flawlessly with the uh, PTS EPM magazines. By the way, I've never reviewed a magazine before, but if you guys want me to review this, I absolutely love them, so let me know in the comments down below, and I could do that. Thank you so much to Classic Army for sending this gun over for me to review. So far, it seems like a very well-made, solid product, and I'm really liking the performance, so that is really awesome. If you're interested in seeing the review of this gun, or you just want to watch me talk for a while, it's kind of creepy, but whatever. Whatever works. Then be sure to stay tuned by subscribing to my channel. The video will be up soon. Also, upcoming videos. ASG Scorpion Evo. And this one I am so excited for. You don't even know. Tokyo Marie VSR 10G spec. I don't know if that's in frame. It's probably not. It's really big. Whatever. I owe you guys a massive thank you for all the support you've been giving me on all my channels and pages. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And enter my giveaway.